Hi, it's Darnell with Way Long Recipes, and this is my 30 day review of the New Wave Primo Grill Oven. Now, I did an earlier review of the New Wave Primo Grill Oven where I went through all the functions, all the features, did all types of testing. That will not be done in this review. If you've not seen the earlier review, you can check that out. The first comment in that uh, review video has a table of contents, so you can jump right to any part of that video that you uh, are interested in. But that has already been done, so this is basically after using it for a while, my 30 day review, my impressions, my thoughts, my comparisons with other cookers, and so we're going to get into all of that. Now the New Wave Primo, it's uh, basically like the New Wave oven, but it has heat on both top and the bottom. It has a grill plate down on the bottom here that does uh, for real grilling. So basically it can grill, it can bake, it can dehydrate, it can air fry, it can cook foods from fresh or frozen and it does a very good job with it all. And because it has the heat on the top and the bottom and it has that nice grill plate on the bottom, it is able to cook foods as fast or faster than other cookers. I mean, it does a real great job as far as, you know, knocking stuff out quick. There's some things I can cook in here faster than any other. There's some things that take about as long as they would in maybe an air fryer. But there's a lot of rum in here and it does real good work. And I've put out, you know, plenty of cooking videos about it. I'm going to put out a whole lot more. There's a whole lot more coming. But this can do some great work and so I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this after you know using it for like a month more it's looking real good but I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this and so you know after using like 30 days plus my thought is that this is just a great cooker now with this being an indoor grill there's uh you gotta consider smoke and for most cooks this thing doesn't have an issue with smoke there are some caveats though with that that I'll get into but for the most part, it's able to manage smoke well. It has vent holes at the tops here. And, you know, sometimes when you're cooking, you'll see some smoke coming out of those. But it's uh, usually not a problem. It's usually, you know, just kind of venting smoke, which is, you know, not a problem for, you know, filling a house with smoke or filling a room with smoke or anything like that. For most things, even bacon, it can cook through without a problem. I do flip my bacon, as I've shown in my bacon cook video, because it'll start doing some smoking on one side and flip it and that grease from flipping it goes down into the uh, grease reservoir and so it doesn't uh, continue to smoke anymore as much after that but it never gets bad with smoke for most things now there is a caveat as I said when it comes to this cooker and smoke and that seems to be with pizza whether fresh or frozen pizza regardless of it's fresh or frozen the grill plate seems to heat the bottom so hot that the uh, basically the crust starts getting really cooked hard and starts producing smoke and so I've seen it produce a lot of smoke with fresh or frozen pizzas and so basically that's something to consider there you know you could adjust the heating elements to bring more heat from the top than the bottom but then you've got the situation where you're going to overcook the top of your pizza so this is a matter that given the good performance of this cooker it's a matter that I'm continuing to work on because I am continually interested in use of this cooker because it does so well with everything else and so you know this whole pizza thing I'm going to continue working on that to get it basically perfected I don't think that the guidance in the manual of using 70% on the bottom and 30% on the top with a fresh pizza works out very well I've got a video out already demonstrating what happens and so I'm going to continue working with it and so what I've done I've got a 12 inch pizza stone now and this is my 12 inch pizza stone it just came in I mean I just literally washed it like yesterday so I haven't really gotten to uh, being able to make a pizza with it and all because today I have to do this 30 day review video to be timely with it but uh, basically I do plan to in some future videos try and you know use the pizza stone preheating the stone and cooking a fresh pizza see how that turns out I'll uh, probably Lord alone at some point get into frozen pizza again, you know, play around with some of the settings on the heating elements and such, see if I can perfect how to cook per a frozen pizza without smoke. But I want to show you with the pizza stone how it fits 
This is a 12 inch pizza stone. I'll put a link in the video description. 12, perfect 12 inch in size. It fits real nice inside the New Wave Primo. When you put it in, there's like this little holder for the uh, grill plate for pulling it out. You just put it right behind that and it fits perfect in the New Wave Primo. So I'm hoping that this works out real well. And basically most things that I cook in here turn out looking real good. I was really impressed when I cooked a whole chicken from frozen in here. I mean the thing, the color of that chicken, and the look of that chicken was just awesomely perfect how it turned out. Most things that I cook in it come out looking real nice. Now this being a grill oven, of course it can sear. I found that, you know, just cooking things at 400 degrees, I can basically get a sear while I'm just cooking it, while I'm just cooking steak or just cooking pork chops and such. It's going to just put a sear on it anyway. There is a sear feature, but I rarely use it. I think that it works best for me with reverse searing. You know, if I just want to heat something to a certain temperature and then just put a sear on it at the end, I've done that. But basically for the most part, I can just cook things at 400 and get some sear marks by default while I'm cooking. Now as far as cleaning the New Wave Primo, I've shown in my earlier video that did a full review how it's clean, but basically when you're, you know, cooking a lot of food and getting you know a lot of stuff all inside of it I found that the dome you know it's real non-stick real easy to wipe off most things don't get up into the power head but if something gets up there I've never had to do anything more than just maybe just wipe it with a damp rag because nothing really gets up in there much the grill plate is the uh, gonna be the point of contention for some of you when it comes to cleaning this because it's a grill so it's not an air fryer it's a grill and you gotta think of it as a grill first and so with grills, any of you who have experience with grills, you know that things get stuck on your grates. You know, the grill plate gets things stuck on it, but it's a non-stick surface. So you put a little elbow grease in there and you can get things out. The only, I guess, issue might be that things kind of get stuck in the nooks and crannies of the grill plate. And you got to kind of get in there to get that stuff out. That's the only thing, but it's non-stick. It's not hard to clean up. The uh, bottom plate, the grease catcher in the bottom is very non-stick. Sometimes I do soak it a little bit to get things out. But I feel cleanup not to be too difficult. It is more difficult of a cleaning than say the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite or something like that because this grill plate and such, you know, it's cooking real hard and so it's grilling things. But I found that the little bit of extra effort, little bit of extra elbow grease, I feel is worth it for the benefit that this gives that the others can't, which is that it's a real grill, it can really grill things. Now I've uh, basically taken some notes of detail why I feel, um, how I feel about the New Wave Primo versus other cookers. So I'm just going to kind of read off to you how I feel about this compared to other cookers and I'll just, uh, spoiler alert, it's better than all the rest. But now we'll get into the details of why I feel that it's better than all the rest of the cookers that I've uh, done on this channel before it. So basically compared to like the Power Air Fryer Oven 360, the Primo is better because it provides real grill marks. It's a real grill. It doesn't have to preheat like the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 or that Emerald. It's some, you know, it's like the Emerald Legacy Power Air Fryer 360 and the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 are basically the same uh, cooker from all I can tell. But it needs a preheat in a lot of its functions. This doesn't require preheat and cooks real good, real fast. Um, basically, also this one has programs. You don't have programs, or the ability to make programs in the uh, Power Air Fryer 360, that Emerald Lagasse uh, Power Fryer 360. And this cooks faster than the Power Air Fryer 360, in my opinion. This also has the probe feature. You can use a meat probe to basically measure, you know, how your temperature in your, in your meat is cooking and it automatically stops at your desired target temperature which is real sweet. You don't have that type of functionality in the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 either. And the last and very important thing is the New Wave Primo is way quieter than the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. The Power Air Fryer Oven 360 Emerald Lagasse Power Air Fryer is loud. This is much quieter. And so, um, you know, I have a lot more pleasant time doing things like dehydration, and there's a future dehydration video coming. Doing things like hours and hours of dehydration in this cooker is far more pleasant than doing it in the 360. Now, compared to the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, the New Wave Primo is better because it can do real grilling. 
with grill marks, it has the pro feature, it has the program features, it cooks faster, and it's quieter than the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Now compared to the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven, I will say that the New Wave Bravo is the best baker that I've used of cookers. I won't say that the Primo is the best baker, but I will say that the Primo is better than the New Wave Bravo all around, and that's because the New Wave Primo well, the New Wave Primo is better than the New Wave Bravo all around because the New Wave Primo, it can provide real grill marks. There's no need for preheating. Some of the functions in the uh, New Wave Bravo go into a preheat. There's no need to preheat here. This cooker cooks faster than the New Wave Bravo, and this cooker has programs. The New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven does not have the program features. And the New Wave Primo can hold more with the... Uh, basically the roasting kit and other things. I'm going to be showing those off later in this video, by the way, so you'll get to see those. So this can hold a lot more than the New Wave Bravo and it's got, you know, the real grill marks and such, which is real nice. Now the New Wave Primo grill oven compared to basket air fryers, I've been showing some videos using like the Philips Air Fry Double XL, but just basically this cooker, this New Wave Primo compared to it and other basket air fryers in general, it, it, to me, it's not even fair to compare. It's not even fair. This is so far beyond a basket air fry that it's, I mean, the Primo just wins hands down. And so, I mean, one thing is like, I can see my food in this cooker. I mean, basket air fries, you put your stuff in there and you don't know what's going on in there until you got to open it again. And so, just being able to see your food cook and, and a lot of videos that I've shown already, I've shown food time lapse, you can see that food cooking up. That is so nice. You don't burn your food when you can see your food. Because if you see your food starting to burn, you can stop. But with the basket air fryer, once you put it in there, you know, you don't know if it's burning or not unless just plumes of smoke start coming out of the thing. And you can, like, like I burnt uh, French bread pizza. I didn't know that because I couldn't see it. Like with this, I can see. So that's just one big benefit that, you know, a lot of cookers have over the basket air fryers. Um, basically, also this can make the grill marks, it holds more, it's quieter, it has programs, it's faster for some things than an air fryer. For some things the air fryer, basket air fryers are on par with the cooking speed. But this also has top and bottom heating which most uh, basket air fryers don't have. Now the New Wave Primo compared to the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. The New Wave Primo wins because it has programs, it can do grill marks, it has a probe feature, it can hold more. It cooks basically about as fast as the uh, Cuisinart in most cases. In some things it does a little faster than the Cuisinart. So it's even better than the Cuisinart Digital Air Fry Toaster Oven, which I was a cooker that I really liked. So basically you will be seeing a whole lot of the uh, New Way Primo going forward in the future, but there are some other issues that we need to discuss. And these are more serious issues when it comes to the New Wave Primo. And I've been reserving speaking about these issues because I've been trying to basically talk with New Wave support and see what they were going to do. And I wanted to share with you all the uh, details of how things went and see if you know things would work out good. But basically, I've been having some issues with cracking in the dome and also with the bottom grease catcher starting to lose uh, some of the, the coating. So I'm going to show you some photos of uh, a photo of a crack in the dome, and so you can see, you know, I'm putting that on screen. You can see the crack in the dome, and it's gotten worse. It's gotten progressively worse. More cracks getting worse, and also the lower pan uh, basically losing that coating. I'm going to show you some pictures of that also, so you can see that, and you know, it's losing the coating. I always wash by hand. I've never put in a dishwasher. I've never used metal on these things. I've always used just a cloth when cleaning them. And so basically, you know, the cracks and the stuff coming off the bottom on the interior is pretty uh, disconcerting. And it's also starting to, as that paint's come off, that metal in the bottom pan has started to rust a little bit. And so that's some concerning stuff. So now I'm going to try and actually show you on the New Wave Primo. I'm going to try and show you, if I can on camera, some of the cracks if you're able to see. I don't know if you're able to see like 
there's like a huge crack like right in there and go around there's another another huge crack let's see if I can see anymore down here there's another crack right there another crack and so you know it's like the thing's been getting taking cracks which is really really concerning and here in my uh, in the pan you can see where the coatings come off you can see where it's starting to get a little brown in there a little rust starting to kick in so obviously this is a uh, major issue and so I uh, communicated with New Wave Support they said that you know they were basically in disbelief that I was having these issues you know like I mean they weren't in disbelief like trying to say it wasn't true they were in disbelief like we're we can't believe it's having problems but we want to make it right type of thing you know they, they didn't expect it to have problems that I told them that it's having is basically the type of disbelief that I'm saying I'm not saying that they tried to shoot me down or refute my uh, my assertions they were just surprised that the issues existed and so basically I had to send them pictures of the issues and you know pictures like I've shown you the first pictures I showed them were a little blurry so they asked me to send some more and I sent some more that were clear and so they were like okay and so basically they've sent me a new uh, dome and a new uh, bottom part here and so basically they want me to or they said they want me to send these back so they can examine them to see why they failed like they have but my new wave oven pro power dome it never got a single crack I used it like three four years never got a single crack on that dome and you know this you know about a month and bam you got cracks all over the place what's up I'm really uh, saddened by that I want this to work you know I really want it to work I really like it I want to keep it but you know they sent me the replacement parts so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that now I just got them in today they just came today like hours ago today right off the truck so I'm going to unbox those with you now and we'll just kinda of have a look at them compared to the stuff that I'm gonna to have to send back to them that has been faulty. Alright, so here's the box. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it open real quick. Alright, so here's the new replacement dome. So let's have a look at this dome compared to the other. I think this dome is a little this dome feels sturdier. This dome feels sturdier than this dome. This dome seems a little, I think this one's a little thicker. You can see it's a little darker. This dome's definitely darker than the original. So the replacement dome they sent me is um, darker like the New Wave Pro Power Dome that I used to have. I think this is going to probably work out better, Lord willing. So we'll just kind of lock that in there. And here's my new... Uh, bottom grease catcher grill plate there. Well not grill plate but uh, the bottom part of the New Wave Primo compared to the old one. I don't know if this is any different from the one that was having issues. My concern has not been the bottom part as much as the dome cracking. So you know basically if the bottom you know starts losing coating and the bottom starts you know even rusting some I'm not as worried about that because that's the bottom part where I'm not you know cooking food down in the bottom part you know I'm really just concerned about my dome more than anything but if I have any further issues I will let you know and I will uh, let New Wave support know as well you know just to you know make sure that they make things right so having unboxed the replacement parts there's another shipment that also came in today from New Wave and it's the Ultimate Roasting and Air Fry Kit so I wanted to unbox that with you also. So here's the round fry basket for the New Wave Primo grill oven. So the fry basket just sets in there like that I gather and you can just you know put your food in there and air fry so we'll have to do some work with that now that we have it
And this box is the New Wave Jumbo Turkey Kit. This is the one I think is supposed to let you do like a 30 pound turkey or something of that sort. So it looks like it's a collection of extender rings. Get this out of here. This looks like the turkey holder that they give you. So I guess you don't have your turkey directly on the grill grate. On the grill grate there. On the grill plate. So let me just set uh, I'm going to take the unhook it here. So I guess if you have a small turkey, maybe you can just set the ring right there and put the dome on and you know maybe cook your your small turkey upright in the turkey holder but if you got a bigger turkey then you got to use the extender rings now this is just a sticker about which end is up and they just say remove that when you actually use it so I'm just gonna well I'll have to get that off better later but anyway you stick uh, the extender rings let's see these going this way they go this way this one's up you can go in like that and lock in an extender ring and then if you've got a turkey that's a more sizable turkey you, can, you know kind of like with the old new wave oven pro get your larger turkey in there maybe like up to maybe like with the new wave oven pro i think it was like up to maybe 16 15 16 pound turkey or so so maybe that's what that's good for and then if you got a bigger turkey then you can take your second one and you can lock in two extender rings and have your turkey in the holder and then put that up there now the other box here I have a third box in here this is the new wave gourmet roasting and air fry kit let's see what's in here We'll get, this old, we'll get this other stuff out of the way, but I was supposed to get a free air fry basket with my New Wave Primo with the initial purchase. So I think that the first air fry basket was the one that I was supposed to get free with the initial purchase. But this roasting kit is interesting because it's got this big extender ring here. And this big ring is smaller than the other two rings. So I guess you could even stack further. Maybe this is the 30 pound turkey configuration. Have it like that. Right on there. Let's see. Alright, I knocked that ring over, but uh, let's put it back up here. I don't think I had it in right to begin with. So basically if you got those three rings, let me make sure I got my dome locked in tight. Oh my goodness, look how huge that thing is. Wow, it's like three ring circus. <laughs> so three big rings, and you got the dome up there, and you have your turkey, and man, you're going to have the biggest turkey in the world in there, and cook it up in the New Wave Primo. And it is, uh, the rings do give enough room for me to, to hook the plug in the back, just enough room. So, wow, that is huge. So I can get the biggest turkey I want, and basically cook it up. So now I have a spare, at least I have a spare air fry basket. So I guess now, you know, if I'm doing a lot of air frying, I can, you know, air fry with one basket, then toss that one aside if it's dirty from the first air fry and use the second air fry basket for my, you know, second set of cooking. Here we have the, uh, basically this kind of a raised rack that I can use. I'm going to get the turkey stuff out of the way. So this raised rack basically can set up here like this. And this is better, I will say, you know, having used the, uh, the New Wave Pro raised rack, it's not properly a size for the Primo. I can tell, you know, basically this is properly sized for a Primo. It goes right around the edges perfectly. So this is a good raised rack to have to use with the New Wave Primo. And it's going to work out better than the trying to use the New Wave Oven Pro raised rack. 
So that goes in there like that. You can cook things on a raised rack. Maybe like a frozen pizza will work out with something like this. And the good old black baking pan. I had one of these from my New Wave Oven Pro, but it's nice to have a nice new one to use uh, with my Primo. All right, so basically that's everything, you know, um, new toys galore to play with. And so you'll be seeing a whole lot more of the New Wave Primo, and Lord willing, this dome will work out. I do believe this one's going to last longer. Um, and, you know, if I have any issues, I'll keep your prize of those probably in the cook videos themselves if something comes up. So be sure to keep up with every, uh, every video unless it's something, you know, worthy of a totally separate video. I may not do a totally separate video about, you know, just some issue. I'll probably just mention it in a cook video. But, you know, who knows, maybe, you know, depending on what it is and how things go. But we're going to hope and just continue using it and hope everything works out right, works out well. But... That's basically my 30 day review of the New Wave Primo Grill Oven. And so you can find plenty of recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always get to this YouTube channel through waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments, of course, please. And good eating.